everybody, it's Emma Lyman here and uh, today I wanted to make a very simple video to give you a short description to each of musical means of expression that I teach uh, in my system of uh, how they interconnecting between each other, how they affect piano technique, um, how they affect musical expression. And if you follow these principles uh, it will help you to play with loose and free hands, without stiffness, uh, yet execute all the musical marks with great precision and play with accuracy. And as a result, your um, playing becomes technically effortless and musically expressive. So, imagination, intonation and weight are the basic of correct on production that allows hands stay free light and effortless while playing, yet sustaining excellent accuracy in playing, effortless fast technique and powerful tone. Okay, let's start with imagination. So imagination helps fingertips pre-feel notes, releasing tension in your wrist. So when I'm about to play the note that is in my mind, the energy of the note will be right above or better say around uh, the end of my finger. It's kind of like I'm <laughs> taking the sound from there and, and then putting it <laughs> down to the keys. That's how it works. And um, as I show in one of my old videos, any movements that we make externally would be uh, um, not that efficient as when we Mm, just use this movement to convey our sound imagination. In this case, this imagination will release any tension in the wrist that might be still remained. Intonation helps finger muscles pre-feel the distance in between notes, releasing tension in hand. So when I'm gonna intonate and I feel this resistance, this resistance will affect the muscles over here and this is how I would prefeel the touch and the distance that I'm um, playing. And weight helps body and hands stay free without stiffness and play with a powerful tone. Um, so when you know how to feel weight in your body, how to transfer it to the keyboard, how to still sustain it while playing through your intonation, this is how you achieve <laughs> half of the effortless in your playing. And um, basically the rest of the principles that I'm going to show you here is just an extension of these main three basic principles. Articulations help finger muscles pre-feel different touches. Um, again, through my intonation, when I speed up at the end in staccata or bring more weight with tenuta or bring speed and weight and accents, uh, this movement, energy in my throat, again will give the right impulse to my hands. So my hand will be still loose, but playing staccata or tenuta uh, uh, or accent. Uh, with great precision, but like I said, yet your hands stay very loose. Uh, harmony helps fingertips pre-feel different colors of tone. So this is again, we come back to imagination column. Um, so depending on, you know, major, minor, dark, um, light, bright, soft harmonies, dissonant, consonant, um, all of this would affect the uh, our uh, affect our sound in our imagination and create a different color and that color in our imagination will create different color in the fingertip and will create different touch dynamics helps fingertips pre-feel different intensity of tone and it helps you pre-feel different intensity of weight and so it's both ways when you imagine this huge sound, vibrant, resonant, deep, in your mind, that changes the energy in your whole body. <laughs> and that would also trigger 
the amount of weight you're about to gather. So your diaphragm would expand more when you're about to convey this huge sound in your mind and as a result you will gather more weight. Um, okay, voicing helps fingertips pre-feel different distances of tone. So if dynamics is about intensity, voicing is about um, distance. And for me, I found the best analogy would be if I would imagine that there are different rooms um, in the place I am staying and the sound that I'm hearing that I need to voice is right in my room and other sounds uh, in other rooms. So this closeness, this like small distance between you and the sound creates a very good voicing in your mind and again when you have this voicing in your mind it activates the right energy in your hand to um, to convey that idea. Musical speech, let's again come back to intonation. Musical speech helps finger muscles prefill different distances in between notes and increase accuracy with lips. So if intonation is about feeling distance, generally, then um, musical speech is about feeling different distances, small or bigger, you know, second octave. And um, if you play a huge leaf through the keyboard, knowing that you are intonating with the second or the third through the octave, will navigate your hand to the right key. That's how it works. Also, musical speech uh, is affecting tone and almost unnoticeable rubatos in between notes to create more expressive melodies. So, you know, when we play... So when you feel that this is octave with a musical speech meaning, <laughs> I'm not going to explain in details what that means, and second, 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 unison, and fifth, in your intonation, um, that will create different nuances in time, in tone, in color. So all this will affect your uh, playing, your uh, expressive playing. Okay, so let's continue with intonation. Uh, phrasing. Phrasing helps muscles breathe and release tension with exhalation while playing. It helps to prefill different energy levels of weight, especially in fast passages. It also affecting tone and almost unnoticeable rubatas, creating more expressive playing. Mm, okay, so when we know the blocks in the piece, when we know what is the uh, more prominent part is that block, we have the intention. And this intention creates levels of energy. So... All of this you can express through intonation. And when you come to the main part, you kind of exhale. And after this main part, you release tension in your muscles. That's how it works. And again, just like musical speech, phrasing, of course, will create more human um, more human speech while playing. <laughs> Musical image helps finger muscles prefuel the energy of emotion in between notes. So again, depending on the emotion that we want to express, whether it's joy or sorrow, our intonation will be changed. All of this will affect again finger muscles because it connects to intonation and intonation rules finger muscles. And I really feel different energy in my finger muscles, really. So it really changes the energy and that changes the touch and changes the tone. Musical form helps finger muscles pre-feel the level of energy in between notes. So musical form works the same way as phrasing in terms of um, gradating this energy level, 
but uh, now we look at the whole piece uh, so we look at, at the piece from a bigger perspective and um, when we know where is the beginning of the story where is the culmination we naturally starting um, gradate this um, level of energy so in the beginning you would give quite um, very little energy through your intonation and that will affect finger muscles and the energy you will feel over here and that's how you would convey your ideas through playing and um, of course in the rising to climax in the climax part we would feel much more intense energy and again that would affect this, this, and this. <laughs> That's how it works. Artistry helps finger muscles pre-feel confident energy of expression in between notes. Again, this confident feeling that you feel through artistry is connected to your intonation. That's why it's connected to your finger muscles. So when you play, this confident expression will be still sustained in your playing. It's not like you are uh, preparing yourself mentally, <laughs> emotionally before going on the stage. As soon as you start playing everything just out of your hands. So, yeah. <laughs> and time helps you pre-feel all the movements in a certain tempo. And it helps with effortless playing in fast tempo. So here's the thing with time. When you organize all your inner sensations in the heartbeat, in the inner pulse, that prepares you to organize all your external movements in time. So when you feel everything in time, then you can play everything in time. And it works uh, very funny because um, <laughs> if you don't feel, if you don't have this inner pulse before and while playing, then even when you take not a fast tempo, because you're not ready, you would feel it's so fast, you could barely make anything at that time. And it works the other way around. So if you have this pulse inside you, then even if you play in a uh, very fast tempo, it will feel okay for you. Everything would just naturally flow in time, you know, no rush, no clumsiness, no stiffness. You might even feel that, oh, that wasn't actually that fast, really? I thought it was much slower. So, um, that's about it <laughs> with all the musical means of expression. And um, I guess I'll see you soon again. <laughs> Bye-bye.